I just went to the grocery store and there was this absolutely stunning, beautiful human being that had just finished their grocery shopping and they had their shopping cart and they were looking around uh, trying to figure out where to leave the cart. And first of all, I wanted, I wanted to say hello to this ridiculously, absolutely gorgeous human being. But the other thing is, um, I have this very strange shopping cart fetish where I like to take shopping carts from the parking lot into the grocery store because this is the grocery store that's in my neighborhood. And I'm not trying to sound like some sort of do-gooder uh, putts or, you know, some sort of uh, naive or something. But the thing is, is that this is my neighborhood, and when I go to this grocery store, there's there are always these uh, shopping carts that are just kind of like randomly left. Uh, you know how like people will take a shopping cart and they'll just lift like two wheels and set it up on the thing, and they'll leave it in front of their car, or sometimes they'll just leave it in the parking lot, and then it'll just kind of slowly roll toward other cars or something. And all of this is <laughs> absolutely maddening to me because I think it's uh, pretty rude. But also the other thing is, um, I feel like, you know, this is my neighborhood, and if I want to keep the neighborhood nice, then, yeah, I can't be like, hey, you know what, the grocery store needs to do a better job of this, or of cleaning up these carts, or the customers need to do a better job of, you know, taking the carts and putting them in the shopping cart uh, caddy, or whatever it's called. You know, sometimes you just have to take matters into your own hands, and so that's what I do, is that I just try to, like, clean up these shopping uh, carts myself. Sometimes I don't run around and like, you know, do 20 or time or something. I just do my 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 version of that, which is I take a, 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 sh a shopping cart in that I see from the, that's left near my car and um, I take it inside. And then when I leave, I always make sure I take the cart either to a corral or all the way back to the front or something, but I don't leave it, um, you know, blocking somebody else's car. Or you know what's the worst is when someone leaves a shopping cart in like the parking space next to where their car was. And so then when someone comes to park, there's a shopping cart in the space. And I know this is gonna make it sound like I'm some sort of Victorian era prude or something, which I'm not, you know, I'm absolutely an anti-prude <laughs> sexually. But the thing is that when it comes to like, you know, my neighborhood, I want my neighborhood all fixed up. And anyway, so I walked up to this ridiculously supermodel level human being who didn't know what to do with their shopping cart. And I said, hey, you know what, if you give me that, I'll take it into the store. And then the this uh, person turned around and then they go, really? And I go, yeah, I'm one of those weird people who takes shopping carts into the store, you know. And then she goes, I think that's awesome. Thanks. And I said, yeah, you know. Uh, no problem, or uh, you got it, or some sort of thing like this. And then, of course, I wanted to stay and chat this person up. But the thing is, is that when you do chat, when you do do gooder stuff like I do, you know, you feel like if I stay and hit on this person, then it's gonna like ruin the whole thing for me. And that's not necessarily true. I could have stayed and flirted because, ugh, you know what, I am the king of flirts. Uh, I don't mean to be a king of flirts. I really just like to talk to people, but people always think I'm flirting with them. And I didn't want this person to think that I was only doing this for, for to like, whatever, get in their pants or whatever. I just wanted to do a good thing and get in the store. It just sucked that this happened to be my interaction for 15 seconds with the prettiest, uh, most attractive person in a five-mile square radius. <laughs> So, um, but what I'm getting at is I don't want, you know, I'm not trying to get anybody to be like, oh, you know, Doug, you're such a do-gooding person and oh, you're making the world better. That's not what I'm looking for. What I wanted to make this video about was I wanted to encourage everyone to take their fucking shopping carts and put them in the sh fucking shopping cart corral. I have this friend, Melissa, and whenever I, we see somebody who's done something terrible with shopping carts, we take pictures of these people are the carts and then we, you know, message each other. And this is one of the few times I didn't message Melissa because, you know, I didn't necessarily have the purest heart this time <laughs> because I was talking to this person for 15 seconds and um, it's kind of messed up my do-gooderism. 
there was this moment, you know, many, many years ago, and it was called uh, Pay It Forward, you know, where you would, like, uh, drive into, like, a Starbucks, and then, uh, you know, you'd get to the you know, place where you had to pay, and then they would say, like, oh, the, the driver in front of you paid for your uh, Starbucks order. Do you want to do the same for the person behind you? And then you would say yes or no. And then, you know, there'd be, like, 20 cars in a row that would do this for each other or something. And I always thought that was kind of nice, you know. And then sometimes you get to the front, and you're like, well, I don't have enough money for, like, the car full of 10 people behind me, so I can't do it. You know, and that's okay, too. You know, I mean, you shouldn't feel pressured to do these kinds of do-gooder acts that some of us do, you know. Um, but what I'm getting at is, you know, what I, this year I went to go get some uh, gas for this uh, SUV that I have, and I pulled up and all, and somebody had left, had paid for a bunch of gas. And when I pumped the gas, it was all free because somebody paid it forward for me with um, by leaving me like, I don't know, 30 bucks worth of credit on the gas thing. Now, I'm not saying that we should all go around paying for everybody's gas and paying for each other's Starbucks or whatever, but I feel like we're in a weird place in America where things are not always like super nice and you know, the world is kind of crazy for sure. And everybody's screaming at each other online. And if you go on uh, the world's worst thing, Twitter, um, then you're gonna, you know, that's where everybody gets angry at each other and calls people names. And I get it. I understand it. You know, a lot of people deserve to get screamed at actually in this world. But the thing is, is that I am personally just trying to be like the light <laughs> within. And I don't mean that in a religious way. You mean, you know, if you're religious, that's great. I'm not trying to take religion away from you. But what I'm saying is, I'm just trying to be a, I'm just trying to make everybody's days better you know like everybody that's in front of me no matter whether they look like a supermodel or not i don't care you know no matter the you know if they're 80 years old or 30 or in between or whatever you know, no matter how any no matter what somebody's skin tone or um you know heritage or any number of you know gender i don't care i just Treat everybody who's in front of me like I'm in love with them, sort of, you know? And I don't mean, like, sexually or romantically. I just mean, like, you know, I'm just trying to be a cheerleader for humanity. And anybody that knows me in real life knows that I've been like this for my whole life. So this is not something where I'm turning my life around. I've always been this person, kind of. But the thing is, is that I think, especially now, we need to be nice to each other um, as much as we can. And I'm not saying, like... You need to, like, overlook somebody who's, you know, a real shithead to you or a shit bag, or somebody that's backstabbing you or, or whatever. You can still, you know, be selective about the people who blow and then go, like, well, I don't need to interact with them. You know, I'm not saying that you have to, like, you know, do anything bad to them. But all I'm saying is, like, keep your boundaries with people who suck and real shit bags who deserve to be blocked in life or whatever. But for strangers and the, you know, the loves in your life and your friends and good family or whatever, you know, whoever it is, um, I'm just, you know, maybe I'm sounding like Joel Osteen right now or something. And I'm not really trying to be. I, I really just, you know, wanted to say today that if you see a shopping cart, you know, put it in the corral. If you have one, if you have one, put it in the corral. If you see somebody who goes like this to you, like, hi, just say hi back. You know, and if you're worried, if you're like worried, like, oh, every time I say hi back to people, that just gives them an invite to like hit on me or something. Okay, I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm just trying to say, can we all just be sort of nicer to each other? And, um, you know, and if, uh, if I, if you're the person who was in that, um, shopping center parking lot and, you know, you think that you want to be with me, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway. All right. That's it. That's like all I just say today. I hope you're having a fucking fantastic day today. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you was, you know, when I was checking out of the grocery store, the lady that was working there, she goes, uh, she was asking me how my, I said, how's your day going? And she's like, oh, you know, and then I was like, she goes, how's your day going? And I went, fantastic. It's going fantastic. It's a day of like lists, you know, but getting all these things done on my lists. My honey, I have a honey-do list for myself every day. And so, you know, I just did my honey-do list today and um, it was a really great day. But the main thing is the minute I opened my eyes, 
uh, I said to myself, like I said to the grocery store person, I said, you know, when I woke up this morning, I go, I'm going to make today the best day of my life. <laughs> and then she goes, you got to do that sometimes. And I'm like, you got, you know what? It's about mindset. I used to have this therapist and he'd go, I'd go, oh man, Joel, I'm so sick of brushing my teeth every day. Like, I'm really glad I have teeth. I'm very grace grateful that my teeth are in my head and I get to brush my teeth, but I'm so bored. And he was like, it's about mindset, Doug. Joel would go, it's about your mindset, Doug. You got to make, you know, brushing your teeth you know, a really good experience, whether you put on some music or sing a song in your head or think about sex or, you know, whatever it is, you know, think about something really great. And he was right. You know, like, it's like people who do mushrooms, you know, they get to have this thing where they say it's about set and setting and set means like your mindset. And I know it's really hard, you know, like, here I am working for myself. And I don't have, um, you know, I don't have bosses looking over me all the time and I don't have uh, you know a bunch of coworkers where five percent of them are trying to backstab me and take my job or get me in trouble you know pretending to be my friends or something <laughs> you know I don't have like I don't have a lot of stressors like a lot of people because I work for myself so I understand that I'm in a better position you know in terms of mindset than a lot of people but I used to work in offices and I used to work with a bunch of journalists and I used to work with you know, I used to have blue collar jobs where I was like, you know, pushing people around on gurneys and wheelchairs and hospitals and all this, you know, jobs, you know, bartending. And I cooked at restaurants and I did all kinds of blue collar jobs and white collar jobs. So, you know, that meant that I had to work with a lot of people. And I have to say, you know, even when I did that, I loved everybody because I'm kind of a naive person. I like to go around life a little bit naive. I was in the shower this morning and after I exercised and I was like, you know, I'm kind of a, a, I have these two things in my head sometimes where I go, uh, you know, I'm kind of naive in a way in that I appro approach everybody like I'm in love with them and like I can make anybody my friend. And I don't have any like short term or long term goal in that that's like a manipulation play or something. I'm not trying to get in people's pants. I'm not trying to get money out of them or stuff or anything. I just want to enjoy every moment in life. And the best way to do that for me, someone who's an extrovert, and I'm also a people person, and I also love small talk. And so for me, uh, when I am engaging with anybody, I'm enjoying life. And then I know that every now and then, someone's going to use that goodness to their own advantage and try to get over on me or something. And then I've gotten better over time at cutting those people out of my life. Now, over the last few years, a few people were getting over on me. And so I cut them out of my life. But for the most part, you know, you just, I think that's the price. You know, I have this friend who is fond of saying that there's a price for all good things. And, you know, I continue to be this sort of naive person who wants everybody to be, you know, my friend, or to at least be friendly for the moment that we're in front of each other, you know? Like, I just want us to love each other. I know that sounds like I'm trying to get you to convert to some religion, and I'm not. And I'm not trying to get you to donate to some fund. I am not. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> just one of, I'm just one of those people. Anyway, that's the conclusion of my story, is that I am a nice, kind, earnest laughing i'm an easy laugh and i'm a hedonist and all this other stuff but i just love people and i also you know take shopping carts into the store or at least to a corral when i'm done i you know and um i i want if if you get nothing else out of this video please just take your shopping cart and stick it in a corral that's all <laughs> that's i'm asking for that at least all right i love you very much i hope you're having a super fantastic night Blah, 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 blah.